Well, we're here at the, the, the major uh, international low carbon investment conference, uh, something that started last year in Scotland is now continuing apace. There's huge enthusiasm for Scotland's leadership role in low carbon technologies, particularly in marine renewable technology, but across the range of technologies. And what this conference does is, is brings the potential and the resource together with some of the major investors. That's what makes it such a, such a success and so exciting. At Aquamarine Power, uh, we depend very heavily on our investors at this stage uh, in order to develop our technology. We're in a pre-revenue stage, so our ability to raise equity is essential. Today, our existing investors have confirmed, uh, have invested £7 million into Aquamarine Power. And in addition to that, they have made a commitment to provide us with an additional £18 million of equity over the next two years, subject to us obviously achieving certain milestones. But that, what that does for us is that it puts us on a very strong financial footing. And as we begin to seek additional investors, a lot of the risk associated with ensuring that all the funding we need in place is there, this helps reduce those risks very significantly. Aquamarine is one of Scotland's technology companies has achieved the refinancing of its, uh, of its portfolio along with the likelihood of uh, further financing to take it to full commercial bill. Now, we've been experimenting with uh, wave and tidal devices up in Ede and uh, in the Orkney Islands, uh, the European Centre for Wave and Tidal Power, with many devices being tested. Aquamarine is one of a number of devices which is approaching commercial deployment and that's all to the good. Well, the Powers Fund is a major new opportunity for Scotland to achieve value from the offshore wind industry. We've recognised that Scotland's got tremendous R&D strengths and the private sector has been recognising that with big investment from Mitsubishi, from Doosan and Gamesa in the last 12 months. What we're now keen to do is to move to the next level and make sure that that R&D can be converted into manufacturing, jobs, employment and growth in the Scottish economy. And the Powers Fund will help companies introduce the next generation of offshore wind turbines into Scottish waters. Now we are always remember that we have to be competitive, which is why we're pressing uh, Ofgem, the regulator, the UK uh, government in terms of the electricity market reform to make sure that the support mechanisms are predictable, they're steady and give incentive because this power is going to be necessary. This power has to be developed, otherwise they're facing electricity shortages in England and indeed in the continent of Europe. Now Scotland can be a green energy powerhouse uh, and therefore it's important that the incentives are there to make sure that happens.